Hey guys, welcome to the new channel. Uh, my name is Cameron and I'm looking to start my channel uh, based on playing chess. Uh, basically, I'm just looking to feed some energy off you guys, uh, give you some tips and tricks uh, on playing chess and I will go from there. So let's start off a new game. All right, so we're playing against a, a player under 800. Um, my rating has gone fluctuated between 750 and 950, so we'll see how we go. Um, the game basically is just to give you an insight on how I attack, how I defend, and all that good stuff. Okay, right now I'm getting attacked by my queen, bishop to queen, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to attack the queen. Probably not a good idea. Yeah, not a good start, but uh, we'll, we'll try and bounce back. Uh, we're normally, uh, we are playing 10 minute games, yeah. Alright, I'm going to see if I can trap the bishop and, and get some points back. I'm five points behind. Okay, that's a pretty good move. Attacking my horse, so what I'll do... Uh, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to move my horse to E7. Right hand side is pretty much a log of all the moves. Just ignore the ads here. I've got to learn how to... Re oh, okay. That does not look good. All right, I'm going to end that, go back in here, press F11. Okay, he's bringing in his horse. Um, all right, I'm going to attack his bishop. Bishop's pretty much done. Uh, if he wants to get an extra point, he'll probably just take the pawn which he does. I'm going to take his bishop. Now I'm behind three points. Not a bad move. I do not want this pawn to move forward, so I'm just going to let that go. I'm going to move this up just to attack the horse if he moves to uh, g5. So yeah, just a recap, uh, I am playing 10 minute games. There is no touch move it because uh, we are using a screen, but the, the normal traditional Games that I, I used to play, uh, I normally touch move it. Okay. I don't want to move my horse forward because there's no real threat there. You know what? I'm going to move my king so it's not in attacking mode by the bishop. We'll move it to g7. Uh, interesting move. I do not want that horse coming in, so I'm going to move the pawn to a6. Alright, I'm going to attack his bishop, which will then allow him to retreat. Alright, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to attack his horse, move it to g4. 
knowing that his rook is behind on that diagonal square. All right, he knows that I'm going to attack it. I'm going to take his horse. Followed by I'm going to move the horse to f4 so I can attack his bishop. Right now I'm down by three points, but I feel like I'm in a good position uh, piece piecewise. I won't attack the bishop there because it's going to be a pretty much straight swap and there's no other pieces that that can attack my horse or that they can threaten my horse so I'll just leave it as it is I, I'm not a big fan of having pawns on, on the same column so we'll just have to deal with that I want this pawn to just stay where it needs to stay okay All right, I'm going to move this pawn up here. We're doing all right with the clock, so I'm not too worried. A right, very interesting move. I really want to move that there, but no. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take his bishop at this point. Just like how it's scripted. All right, I'm going to move my rook to b8. All right, I'm going to take my chance and go and move my pawn here just to attack it. I do not want to take that piece because then his rook can take my rook. I'll just move forward to attack his horse. He will only have one spot to move. That's great. I'll just move the pawn here to defend this pawn. Yep. Okay, that's not look good. Okay. All right, I'm going to have to lose a pawn out of this exchange. So what I'll do, I'm going to move the horse Retreat it back. I don't think I can do much in this area quadrant. I'm just going to move the horse back here. D7. Yes, I, I did lose a pawn in this exchange. I don't think I'll take that pawn because it'll allow his horse to move. I need a little bit of defense, so I'm going to just attack his rock which and then I can just go in and protect that pawn with my horse. Good chance he might move his horse there. Oh no, he won't. Okay. Interesting move. You know what, I'm going to... Uh, move the horse to C4. I'll take its pawn. That's likely like that. I'm going to take his pawn. Running out of time right now. I've got just under four minutes. Um, hopefully this game will be done before then. 
I am going to attack his rook at this point. I'm also going to attack this pawn as well. The good thing, if he takes my black piece, I can then move up that bishop up into c5. Great move. Okay, so I've got something to play here. Can take this pawn to check him. But I'm really worried about this area, what, what this exchange is going to be like. Alright, I'm going to take my chances. I'm going to check him here. Gain a piece. Yep, that's good. I'm going to have to move it regardless. I think I'm going to like this exchange. I'm going to move this here. I've got the two pawns to protect it. Good chance he'll take my horse. Yep, I'll take his horse. He, he may take this piece. I'll take... Uh, okay, I'm going to lose a piece here. It's alright. Not the best move. Oh, okay, we got something here. Check. He'll only have to retreat up here. Alright, we might have something here. Down three points. Oh no. If he had moved into this square, could have been a checkmate. I would have put Rook into B1, but it's smart enough. But what I'm going to do... I want to I wanna keep the pressure for now. Uh, this space here. No, okay. Ah. Doesn't look good. I'm going to have to retreat. I'm going to try and protect this pawn, which it's going to, I think it's going to bring that down here. Rook to A7. Yep. There isn't really any play for me at this point. Um, I think I'm going to take the pawn here. He's going to move his pawn probably most likely there. I'm going to, I'm going to try and check him. Got less than two minutes. Okay, so he knows what I have planned. I really want to check him. Gonna probably move here. I really want to move the bishop out. I should have moved that pawn up forward. Alright, I'm gonna go. Mm, okay. Actually, we can leave that there. Uh, I'm going to check him again. Mm, good move. Alright, I'm going to just... I'm going to just lose that pawn. For now. I'm gonna just I'm gonna try this move. Move the bishop into e5. It's, I highly doubt he'll take that pawn. So we'll see how that plays out. I've got just less than a minute seven to go. Alright, he's retreating, which is good. Always a good sign. 
what I'm going to do. Um, 57 seconds. I'm going to take my chances and run with this pawn. Check him. Ouch. Going to move there. Uh, okay. Uh, I want to try and get something in return. Might run out of time here. We'll see how we go. Good thing this bishop is actually protecting this pawn and this pawn here as well. All right. I want to check him, see what he does. He might move there. Oh, uh, yeah. He might move there. We do a couple of these repetitive steps. He's not going to take his chances. I think I'm going to have to try and move. Uh, doesn't look good. I'm going to block it off. Oh, and then he's going to move that there. Uh, six seconds. I'm going to run out of time. I am going to run out of time. And I should have taken his uh, rook, but anyway. Run out of time, guys. First game on the channel, so we'll get that under our belt. Yep, run out of time. Anyway. Thanks for joining. Um, if you would like to add some comments on how I could have played that, let me know. All right, peace.